Here at Bow Wow Eleven Incorporated, we pride ourselves as investigators of only the most important topics. We find truth, justice, and answers. And today, we are looking to answer the question: How many giant enemy spiders can Unity handle? So I know what you're thinking, well actually I don't, but I'm guessing that you're thinking that 1. Giant Enemy Spider is a dead meme that never got anywhere, and 2. I just stole the idea from Brachius. And to that I say yes and yes. So let's get this spider testing going. Step 1 in this procedure is making the Giant Enemy Spider, so I fired a blender and got to work. I just spaced the spider off of this picture here. As you can probably tell, the spider is much simpler than the original model. This is because the spider being lower poly means that Unity can handle more of them, and because I'm not that great of a modeler. Then I added a color using UV mapping to the spider and it looks beautiful. Then I flung it into an empty Unity scene and gave it a rigid body and a mesh collider. I then realized that I was importing the pure.blend file and, the and because of that, the pieces of the GES were all different objects. Yes, that's what I'm calling it now. So, I joined all the pieces together and then exported it properly. I had to re-export it several times, and one of the fangs is kinda messed up, but whatever. Then I stuck a convex mesh collider and a rigid body back on it, and it sorta of works with physics now. After spending a while messing around with the physics of the spider, I decided to move it. I was planning on animating the crawling of the GES like in the original video, but I realized that joining the spider together had made that impossible without having to rework the model. And if it crawled, then it would probably make it more in performance intensive, so fewer spiders. It was a sacrifice partially made for spiders, and partially made because I'm lazy. But I still kind of wanted to make it move, so I added a script to the spider that makes it shake uncontrollably. I mostly just copied the code from my GitHub, which I'm linking in the description. Now the spider is intimidating, though I once again just removed this because it kind of messed up some things. It's unfortunate, but whatever. Finally, I created the spawner object and stuck a script on it, and then I made it spawn the spiders. Pretty simple. So after creating the spawner, I started the first test. I say the first test because this one did not work out. The giant enemy spiders were spawning alright, but the FPS counter that I used didn't really work, and I ended up using Unity's built-in FPS counter that I didn't know existed instead. Not sure why I didn't start with it, but whatever. I also disabled VSync and now it's time for test 2. I started out with almost 200 FPS. But I quickly dropped to about 60 FPS at 700 spiders. I paused the spawning at 1,000 spiders just to look and see what 1,000 giant enemy spiders look like. Apparently like this. After they stopped spawning, the FPS went back up a bit, but not much. Anyway, we're back to spawning now. In about 1,070 giant enemy spiders, Unity started dropping fast, and it went all the way down to 30 FPS. It's starting to take much longer to spawn the spiders thanks to the FPS going from around 200 to 30. By 1444 giant enemy spiders, Unity was running at just 15 FPS, but the framerate drop started to slow down around now. I decided to pause the spawning, and the FPS did not really come up much this time. I then stuck the shake script on every single spider and made them do some shakes. I knew that script wouldn't be useless, but I paused it around then and got some glorious footage of about 1500 giant enemy spiders flying through the air. I removed the shake script and got back to work, and for some reason the FPS went back up really high to like 60 FPS for like 2 seconds, before dropping back down to 20 FPS quickly. 10 minutes and 2,500 spiders and Unity was down to 7 FPS, and by 2,871 spiders Unity was at 4. But now the FPS was practically unchanging, we got all the way to 3,200 spiders before Unity hit 2 FPS, and... Unity finally went below 2 FPS at 3,667 spiders. And less than 2 FPS is enough in my opinion. Unity has suffered enough. So like, seriously, what did we learn today? Not much. Um, Unity can handle around 1,070 spiders before dropping to 30 FPS, and 3,677 spiders before dropping to below 2 FPS. 
This was honestly a perfectly pointless video and I'm quite proud of that, so be sure to subscribe for more completely pointless videos. Bye.